Welcome to the Texas Goat Radio Show. I'm your host, Matorius. This is the third installment of the 1702 Memorial Day live stream by Owen Benjamin. We're on the final stretch of it. Spot? Yes. I'm very far north. Uh, all the fire missing from the Bertari app is here. Love it. Yeah. Weren't claw streams at, the t- at this time? Yeah. No, this is, uh, it's completely light outside. And it will be for a long time. Any comedian on Rogan, it's just them kissing the ring. Yeah, they're like, oh, my best friend Joe Rogan. Yeah, like Bert Kreischer's like, oh, my best, my best friend Joe Rogan. Oh, 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 oh. And you're like, why is he your best friend? Is it because of his character? Is it because he's such a good-hearted guy? Or is it because he has influence and... In- what, what about... Um- uh, Joe Rogan. My mind went straight blank on that one. What about Joe Rogan's character? That anybody who watches him, I watch him from time to time. I've been a fan of Joe Rogan for a while. His commentary on UFC, his stand-up comedy. Uh, his older stand-up comedy was a little bit, uh, not really my cup of tea back in the day, but. He's, he's a family man. You know, he's pretty adamant about freedom of speech. He hunts. He hunts, kills, eats, his, eats the meat, you know? I don't know. What's it? <laughs> I don't know. Or is it the influence is what he's saying? Power and you're gay. You know? Anybody that's actually my friend is because I like them. And that's very, and that's why I have so many good people around me. That's why I have so much loyalty. Even with the betrayal that get, unfortunately gets highlighted, I have a tremendous amount of loyalty. And you saw that this week with the letters. And it's like, and it's like, that is because I, they know I like people that I like. It's, I never use anyone. Theo had a funny retort. What is it, Coddington? What? He never uses anyone. Now, understand that it's a give and take relationship whenever you boil it down. He does his thing, but he expects you and gets mad at you and berates you whenever you don't fulfill your end of his forced obligation on you. Manipulate, like, uh, abusive, mentally abusive, emotionally abusive. Woe me. Y'all aren't sending me letters because y'all actually listen to me and now y'all have (laughs) your own life and now that it's spring and flowers are doing their thing and birds are doing their thing and you're outside with the children that I allowed you to have, mind you. (laughs) Well, you're making us wait for it. Yeah, you're circling the drain. You playing a little peekaboo with our emotions, Coddington? Epic stream to hold us over. Yeah, I had to do a long one tonight because you guys aren't going to get a stream for a few days. All right. Coddington, what's, what, what was the Theo Vaughn bit? I don't know what he's drinking, but that reminded me of lemonade, and that made me want lemonade. I haven't had lemonade in a minute. Very, very few things. Kynton always does this. Very few things are uh, can be compared to lemonade, ice cold lemonade on a hot day, working outside. Kynton, you read part two. I was saying Bobby Lee and Chris Julia were talking shit about Theo. And what did Theo say? Kai Tin? Oh, guy, he's infuriating, isn't he? Isn't he infuriating? It's like, just finish the thought. So what did... So what did Theo say? 
And what was Bobby Lee and Dalia saying? Just, it's a nice big long fucking paragraph, Guyton. Todd always paused for effect. I appreciate you doing a late stream, been falling behind the streams. I found that a little humorous, but I don't think that, I'm fairly confident that that wasn't intentional. He's so th thirsty for that uh, interaction between Theo and Chris and So he's like, nice hometown bear. He said something about Bobby Lee not having much time left, and he'll take care of his girlfriend for him. I mean, the fact he didn't go racial is embarrassing. Um, so he's going to fuck his girlfriend? And then Bobby, I mean, that's all right. It's kind of funny. What do you say about Dalia? He had to go rape, right? He went racial? That's good. You got to go racial with Bobby Lee. He is like. Are, are we going to get into the territory that I can't put it on, on uh, YouTube? Very, that's a good possibility. Surprised we've got. He is like a racist cartoon of what a gook is. I'll find the clip. I don't need the clip, God. I just need a recap. The last thing I need is the clip. Um. All right. The suspense is overwhelming. Oh, it, it kind of loves this. Bobby Ree. Yeah, Bobby Ree is what, like, an, an Asian is. He gets naked. And, no, I don't. I'm letting you know. When people do Asian dick jokes, Bobby, that dude. Um, thanks for the streaming tonight. You were the best insult comedian ever. I agree. Thank you very much. You know, a swim cap on a mosquito is fucking a pretty good dick. Hey, they, somebody just in his chat told him that he was the best insult comedian ever. How do y'all think that, how do y'all think he would do Owen, this stand up comedian, self-proclaimed best comedian of all time of the last 10 years, whatever, depending on his mood, would do on a roast, on an actual Comedy Central roast uh, back whenever, what, Gerald? Oh, what was that guy's name who was like the roast master? Not Jeff Ross. I think his name's Jeff Ross. But the other guy, the guy that passed away, that guy and Jeff Ross, if I'm not mistaken, those two guys are insult comedy geniuses if you're into that sort of thing i would like to know how he how owen would stay <laughs> he wouldn't be able to i don't think he would be able to because he wouldn't be able to sit there and take the insults and then he would blame it on them not being funny in his insult in his defense, I, I do think people do have made fun of Owen and it's uh, has been received well by Owen. To, to not admit that would be to say he doesn't have a sense of humor about himself. Now, it is probably very small, but I've, I've heard him talk about people. That window is very small. So I'm just saying I have seen him appreciate some kind of insults towards himself. I just came up with that. First time I saw Bobby Lee was on late night Australian TV. Okay, like, you know how if your wife is dusting? Or no, pollen. You know how in the spring there's pollen floating around? Like little tiny pieces of pollen? That can blind Bobby Lee. Like if Bobby Lee's wisp of hair. Like if somebody's getting a hair, he wears the welding glasses. Wear these like welding glasses when they drive. Oh, the hive mind. Like they, they don't make any decisions themselves. That's why you see these agents that are just like. This goop can. Okay, so. If you see that. 15 seconds. Every time that I push that button. It's going 15 seconds into the future. Right? <laughs> of the video. And so I've pushed it. Eight times. About two minutes. He's doing two minutes on the eyes of Bobby Lee. 
This is the material that you're going to see if you paid the $400 for the one ticket, or I don't even know how, how that works out. If you donated, if you go to the website and donate $400, you get one ticket, but I guess you can buy the tickets for what? 85 bucks or I'm not too sure. Anyways, that's, this is the type. This is the best standup comedy, uh, standup comedian in the last 10 years. Doing two, a full two minutes on Bobby Lee's eyes. And at one point... Like that much? Not... It's because the demonic realm is just puppeting them around, trying to get everyone to just cut their dicks off. There's no fucking way that the trans agenda isn't completely gook-oriented. Okay, who wants all the guys to chop their dicks off? I don't know. Guys with dicks like that? Guys with dicks like that? that that's who. That's who. Did little no dicks run around. Oh my goodness, dude. The car accidents. And that's, but imagine who would be the number one group of people that wants everybody to chop their cocks off. Okay, here's the situation. From the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Okay. <laughs> and so, I mean... You're almost there, dude. You have three minutes. I don't know. The guys with no cocks. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. Bobby Lee is so bad at cocks. Like, you know, everybody's like, so this is a major career opportunity for Bobby, Bobby Lee. Bobby Lee. Bobby Lee. Like, people keep talking about how there's been a decline in honeybees. Right. Well, that's why Bobby Ree is now being paid millions of dollars to run around naked in a flower field <laughs> because his cock is the perfect size and shape to pollinate really, really small flowers. I hope you guys enjoyed the Asian goop comedy. It's still light. I still have to milk my cow. I have to wake up really early tomorrow, too. Uh, now all the flowers are yellow. Oh, they're just so fucking gross. I want to put Bobby Ree right back in the shipping container in which he came to America on and send him back to fucking Tokyo. Oh, he's not Tokyo. He's from Korea. They're all the same. They don't matter. It doesn't matter. You just send an Asian anywhere in that general vicinity and they just start swarming together. Just, it, it, dude, it doesn't matter. Uh, really? I'm from Cambodia. No one cares. Cambodians don't, they can't see anything. They're just like, eh, no one. It's all just, it's all just total bullshit. Okay, if you thought that that comedy was worth a tip, I, uh, I live on gratuity. By the grace of God. P.O. Box 490 Sandpoint, Idaho 83864, unauthorized.tv. So that's a little insight right there. It got so tight for a, for a few minutes, depending on who you talk to. Because I've seen comments saying that he has made. That I've seen people comment on comments he has made saying that he and Amy, he and his wife are set for like the next decade. Now, whether or not that's true, I don't know, you know, but the fact that he said, I live on gratuity. By the grace of God. I mean, unless you think that that's. Whether you say it meaningfully, like truthfully. On the outside, doesn't really matter too much. Right. Between you and God, it matters. But. I don't know. Is he set for 10 years? I will see you guys uh, Friday. Uh, maybe earlier, but definitely Friday. Be fruitful, multiply, don't be fruiting, boy guy. From the uh, Hollywood mo money? Let's... Not near the fire. Now, had you read the entire sentence, I know the Bears would have understood. I was blaming myself. Okay, this is... All right. Take a super... Okay, so if you didn't catch the first video that I did on this 1702... 
Um, I started it off, then skipped around a little bit, and then went straight to the end. The last video I did was, I think, completely on the uh, end of the the tail end of the live stream. And so now I'm just going to skip around a couple because uh, I don't want to watch the whole two hours and 47 minutes. I do, however, want to go finish the five. This is, this is the comparison. I don't want to watch this full two hours and 47 minutes, but I most certainly want to go watch the five hours that Jim Bob and I can't remember if Andrew was there or not. I think he was, um, yeah, I made multiple comments on that video, but it's five hours long, and I, I personally, honestly, want to watch that. But this, however, not so much. Super chat for that banana. And it honestly has to do with the content. I'm gonna go over there and watch "Made by Jim Bob," and unless he's commenting on some of the stuff that Owen says. He's not going to have a five minute rant of male genitalia or Asian eyes. Title outburst as well. Okay, we're moving on. Uh, I was hoping to donate to the Midwest Bear Fest and the purchase of land. Thank you very much. Maybe even get a ticket for the festival. Just do with the cash what you will. No, you're you're logged. I got your little name. Uh, keep it for your family. Put it towards. How? Why would you sit there and personally participate in somebody that talks to you? That way? I've got your little name. Like it's so condescending. I've got your little name. And throughout all the past that he's how he's talked to people. Get insisting that people take bear names, and then whenever he gets into a little tiff with them, I don't even know your real name. It's such a strange thing. People are a glutton for punishment. People are are raised in uh, sometimes. Pe no, this is a, this isn't a blanket statement, but I've noticed that some people are raised in such abusive and neglectful households that as whenever they become adults. That's what they are drawn to because it's comfortable for them. And so that's one of the reasons why I think Owen will always have at least somewhat of a trickle of new bears coming in. And that's one of the reasons why people are so defensive over this because it is such um, close and comfortable for them and normal for them that it's not, they don't consider it to be abuse. They don't consider it to be evil and vulgar. Back to you, Owen. Maybe. Sometimes Rumble does this. Radio silence. Let's get out of it. <clears throat> Let's just go ahead and do another video on it. I was going to jump ahead four days. So I guess he didn't make it to Friday. But... How many live streams did he do on Instagram over the last few days? That is your talent. You just manifested through music and comedy. Uh, keep crushing, Big Bear. Thank you for your work. Inspiring me to actually participate in the world is a miracle that few people could even partially comprehend. With gratitude, Friendly Omega Bear. You're awesome, Friendly Omega Bear. Um, oh, let me re now that I know you're a really good guy, I'm going to read the other part. Uh, also, I recently signed back up for BT App, and the first person to reach out with a message request was Bear Pelagic. Uh, watch out for him. He's a mess. He came at me like McConaughey to high school freshman. I'm sure it was my fault. My skirt was too short. My cleavage was out. He's not a threat with that dead dick, but someone's gay need to be paid away. Yeah, he's, he's always creeping up slow, trying to sell that shitty coffee. Yes, I don't know if you played or even read the Three Little Birds rewrite I included in the last letter. I believe I played... Bear why? 
Why stick around for that abuse? He just said that your business is crappy. You sell coffee. And he said that it was crappy. Oh, was it a joke? I've seen people talk to you in, in the comment section over on uh, Jim Bob's channel. And they call you like a fence rider and all that kind of stuff because you're sticking around. You're guilty by association at this point, right? Or no, I might be wrong. I might be out of pocket, as they say. But it is interesting. No, it's not even interesting. It's, I would say that for you to be very much aware, because I've seen you over on Strawberry, um, Baron Strawberry's uh, live stream comment section. So it's not even like you're in the echo chamber of Owen the Golden Calf Untouchable. The unbearably untouchable. The only sacred cow that's not willing to be slaughtered is himself. You're not in that echo chamber. And so, why? Is it is it bit for business? Is it because you do make some money from the bears selling your coffee? Thank you very much. Or is it the but here's one that's a bit funnier. All right. There's not enough money in the world to pay my gay away. Um, thank you very much. Did you also catch the, the clip where he said somebody wrote him and said that they flat out, um, they, they refused to give money because they weren't gay. And then he got upset. <laughs> it was like, listen, you ain't gotta be gay to pay your gay away. <laughs> and it was, it was, Unintentionally funny. He got genuinely upset that somebody said that. That was uh, awesome. All right. Black cock is abuse. Jesus. I mean, I'm not going to go that far. Heavy mail bear. Thanks for the hours of content while delivering the mail. May I be verified as heavy mail bear. Welcome, heavy mail bear. Yeah, don't ever give bear plegic your phone number. Happy birthday, big bear. Thanks for the spell breaking and racial comedy. Keep on doing a lot of streams or I will have to listen to Alex Jones in my job, and that would be a lot of gay to pay away. It's part of my plan. <laughs> a lot of energy is going on realm wide. It's uncomfortable listening to that. How many times pay the gay away? I'm surprised he hasn't done a song from the, uh, who was that, that did the whole F the pain away. I can't remember what band it was. I'm surprised he hadn't done a goofy cover of that song yet. I'm going to, oh, almost. I'm going to skip around one more time. Economies are pretty tough, so this is all I can send right now. Onward, Pocono Bear. Yes, my daughter, inspire, inspired by the stream, is eight months and crushing zero vax. Well, that's what really matters, brother. I appreciate you being here. Oh, boy, we got a bowler bear. How how long is this grift going to keep going? Because you can sense it. At least I feel like I can sense it in his tone and in his facial expression of his uh, the lack of honesty whenever he says that. What matters is you're here. What matters is you writing me letters. <laughs> And not mentioning money, but how long is that going to last? Potentially, I don't know. I'm unclear with his ability. Like the, there's the three months, six months, two years rule that I've noticed. It's not really a rule. It's just something I've noticed in life. It's hard to maintain um, a mask for longer than that. Or the newness you know, I don't know. I don't know if that made sense. Let's skip. To Big Bear, you don't know me, but I... Now he's back. If I start playing again, he'd spring up again. It's a thousand percent true. Yeah, it's totally true. And so we talked about... Uh, What's true? Up. I talked in the beginning about Memorial Day. I went way too long about how ugly sodomy is, how objectively ugly it is. It's not even debatable. 
It's it's like it's like modern art is ugly. Like it's not like it's not subjective. You're not born that way. It's an act of ugliness. How many hours do y'all think he has talked on live stream about sodomy? Whether or not you agree with it or not, I don't. I've hung out with gay men who, <laughs> you know, not even, not even in the same ballpark as the language and subject matter of what they discussed. That's crazy. Oh, big one out of Wrinkle Bear. Thank you for the stream. Planting a favorite flower, marigolds. Is he talks about that stuff the way I would talk about a favorite movie or this guy, you know? I'd be lying if I said that I didn't at least at some point, at some level, enjoy <clears throat> analyzing or talking about or exposing Owen Benjamin and cults and stuff like that. One of my old channel that's no longer around, <clears throat> I had over 700 videos. It was, I had the channel for, I don't know how long. It was over close to a decade. And it wasn't a big channel at all. <clears throat> I, I used it as pretty much like a public note board. I would do, I would see something interesting, do a really short video on it. And a lot of it was um, cults and that type of stuff. Kind of like this one, except that one was way, it was all over the, all over the board. The sun goes down. That sounds beautiful. Yeah, he, and now he's back. And now he's back. If I start playing again, he'd, he'd spring up again. It's a thousand percent true. Yeah, it's totally true. And so we talked about uh, the word nigger again. Oh, my goodness. How people it used to hate. To his credit, man. And I've been skipping around. Maybe he said it in a way that I won't. I'm not even going to risk it. H. Vaster. Alex Stein has started the alt left, trying to make uh, trannies feel super rebellious and cool when it's just super, super gay. Uh, the P.O. Box has been crushing. As you can see, it does make the streams better, longer, more enjoyable. P.O. Box 490 Sandpoint, Idaho 83864. Thanks. I don't know. And some would argue that you spiraling downwards is uh, amusing in itself. I wouldn't. I don't take joy in. Well, let me think about that. Am I being honest and saying that? Was I joyful watching that? No. Yeah. I, I'm, I think I'm being honest and saying that. It doesn't bring me joy to see that. Now, there's some sense of justice for sure. But. I'm not sitting there giddy, you know what I mean? Watching something like that. But there definitely is some sense of justice. And so joy, I don't know if joy is uh, the appropriate word, but there's some sense of justice and like a, a wrong becoming a, a right. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I think... Yeah, there's some definitely some sense of justice whenever we witness that happening. Back to you, Owen. You got to push play, don't you? Yes, sir. For all your great uh, letters, you can always subscribe at unauthorized.tv. Uh, you can super chat. You can go to uh, owenbenjamin.com slash payaway to pay your gay away. Right now, I highly recommend using Rumble, Odyssey, or Rockfin. Entropy is uh, causing us a little problems, but any uh, any word on that kind, Tanner? Are we just, we just sticking it out? But it's all good. They've been good to us for a long time, so we'll, we'll see how it all goes. Uh, but, uh, yeah, 
when will you be gone and no stream? I'm gone Tuesday, Wednesday, and oh, probably yeah. Thursday. Mary Gould, I'm paying two evils. And I used to be like that. It's like, well, yeah, but Biden's so bad that we gotta. No, you're voted. Twitter. Who's actually punk rock? Who's actually uh, counter? Who's actually part of the counter system? It ain't you. Okay. You're just a sad guy. <laughs> that's that's going to be the end of this video. Um, what am I going to end it with? Yeah, the unauthorized. It's it's hard to know the reality that is um, surrounding Owen because he'll say something in one beat, in one breath, and then 30 seconds later say something counter intuitive to what he said earlier or the exact opposite i've heard him say that he is not making hardly any money from unauthorized and then i've heard him say that he is making enough to survive through unauthorized and so it's hard to tell exactly what that situation is for him or if he has his hollywood money that he's good for the next 10 years he definitely owns a lot of land because of the bears he is it the attention? I find it hard to believe that the letters mean that much to him. I don't think he opens up all the letters on stream. <clears throat> I never saw him. I've never seen a clip because I've got a clip that I use a lot and it's the, the, uh, I'm not going to lie guys. Somebody sent me a piece of gold clip because I, I think that's an important clip. That's him showing his true motivation and how easily he turns on an entire religion because somebody paid him in gold. But I've never seen the clip of him actually opening up a letter, finding gold in it, and then reading how somebody hates Christianity so much. So, I don't know, do you think that he thoroughly enjoys the letters besides for the monetary value? Because I don't, I honestly don't think so. Well, he might. I've seen him read letters where he didn't receive any money. And as somebody has pointed out in the comments section, that he probably thrives on negative attention almost as much or greater than positive attention. And that might be one of the causes for his spiraling down every couple of months or however often that happens. Anyways, this is the Texas Goat Radio Show. I'm your host, Matorius. As always, till next time.